Hi, in the previous lecture we've just created our virtual environment, we've created our Django project and we've run the server and created the super user for our project. Now let's run our server okay, and let's open Chrome. This is the admin panel of our project and this is the local host. Okay, now the time that we can we will create our project. Uh, our app, sorry. I'll type Python manage the by start app and uh, I'll call this app meals. This app will handle the meals for the project. We will create a project for a restaurant which you can see all meals, one meal, order a meal, and so on. Okay, and let's run the server again, but first. Let's open this project in the VS Code. I'll use, I'll use VS Code for this project. You can use Atom or Sublime or whatever any editor you want. Okay. Now we have we have the project folder. This is the main folder for our project, and we have the meals folder. This or the meals app. This folder contains all the files for our project or for our app. We have the views, we have models, we have admin to BY and so on. This lecture we will sort by adding the models. But first when you create a project or an app, I'm sorry, when you create app you have to add this app to the installed apps on the settings. So we will go to the installed apps and here we will add meals. Just like this, okay? So that Bison can see or Django can see this project or this app. Now let's create a model. I'll create a class. Uh, I'll call it meals. This class will inherit from models. Dot model, okay? And first we have for the meals we have the name of the meal. Uh, this is let's type it. This is a core field. Or a character field which contains the name of the meal. Let's give it max length equal to and we will say 50. And we have a description. The description equal to models the thickest field okay with max length equal to 500 and we have the people this meal for how many people for will eat this meal well this meal will be enough for how many people okay this is a number so we will say integer field And we have also the price of this meal. This is a decimal field. Okay. And let's give it the max digits. Or it's Make it five, yeah. And we have also the preparation time. The time this meal will take to be prepared. This is let's say a decimal or a float field. This make it an integer field. Models dot integer field. This F letter is capital actually. And we have the image for this meal this is an image field let's give it this parameter upload to equal meals slash okay now we've just created the main class or the main table for our meals we have the meal name the meal description how many people this meal will be enough for 
the price, the preparation time, and the image. I think this is enough for now. Okay, now let's run make migration so that we can create a table for this meals. I'll type Python manage to by make migrations. We have some error. First of all, we got an expected keyword max length. Yeah, this is th must not ht. Okay, let's save it. Yeah, clear it on the screen. Make migration. We got jump the dbdt models has no attribute and trigger field. Yeah. This is like this field. Okay. Let's run the command again. We've got another error. Meals dot, dot means dot image cannot use image field because blue is not installed. Hint get blue from this URL or hit pip install blue. Let's type this command just like this. Blue is a library and Bison used for treating with images. And Jen use it so that you can create an image field and so on. Now we have blue already installed. Let's clear the screen. Let's run the make migration again. And we get another error decimal field must define a decimal places. How many decimal places you need? So we will give it to like two. Okay. Let's clear this. Run the make migration again. Here we are, we just created the first migration, create model meals. On this creation, this migration is created in the migrations folder slash 001's initial by. Let's open this file. This is our first migration, a table with name of meals, a name, inscription, people, price, proration time, and image fields. And Django created the ID field, this is the ID for our model, and Django created it with no need for your interaction, but if you created any primary key field, Django will remove this field. Okay, now it's time that we create this table in our database. So I'll type Python manage the BY migrate so that Django apply this migration to our database. Now we've just created our meals app or model. Let's run the server. Just like this. And let's open our admin the by. Now refresh the page. There is nothing. Because when you create a new app, first you add this app to the settings the by. That's okay. And then when you create a new model, you have to add this model to the admin the by file. So here I'll type from dot models import meals. And then I'll type admin the site dot register this meals app or meals model now let's refresh our app and we have meals okay there is an error in the plural of the word meal but we will fix this error but first let's add a meal name of the meal let's type pasta and this is the pasta meal and how many people this meal will be for let's say two people the price let's say fifty dollar and the preparation time let's say 20 minutes the image for this meal let's open google images and get a picture for this meal yeah let's see a good one just like this Save image as. I'll save it in the downloads. And here, let's upload it from downloads. This is image. Okay, hit save. Here we are. This is our first meal. But we have what this meal object. We need the name of the meal to be shown in the list of you. So here 
we will define an str method for this which will return self dot name this is the name of the meal now let's refresh we have this the pasta meal okay okay so now we need to make this now we've just created our meal model and we added this model to our triangle admin and we just created our first meal in the next lecture we will continue adding some new features to our project and see you next lecture